This is PSA. If you are using Robinhood, there cannot be an outcome where you went happy. Time and time again, they show their cards. If you're using them, you will be disappointed. You will lose an opportunity at wealth. They are not on AMC side. And there have been too many canaries in the coal mine to serve any more as a warning. So this is a good topic to go over, especially from an ape like myself that actually used to use the Robinhood app. Years and years ago, when I first learned about the stock market and got involved, I downloaded the Robinhood app and bought some shares on it. Because of its ease of use and because kind of everyone was using it, I didn't see that there was any sort of problem. But years ago, when Robinhood took away the buy button, I knew that I had to transfer all of my shares outside of Robinhood, and I did so immediately. Now again, whatever brokerages you guys want to use, please do your own due diligence and pick wisely. But be careful. In my opinion, not all brokerages are created equal. They make claims that Schwartzland is a necessity for market discovery. But why? If it's a bad company, then people will naturally sell the stock. Why do hedge funds get to decide that a company they don't like should die? They also make claims that dark pools are necessary. Because big orders could wreck the stability of the market. Again, why? If a ton of people want to buy or sell a company, shouldn't that price reflect that? All these BS tools they invented that they tell us are needed or the market won't work. Yeah, it won't work for them. This ape said, I fight for a fair and free market for all, not just banks and hedge funds. It's so much to ask that the apes just want a fair and free market where there's transparency and where the numbers actually make sense. Not a single Wall Street analyst warned retail investors about SVB. Shareholders very, very, very vaporized. Yet they still can't stop hating on a $5 movie stock. Even though the box office is hitting records and profit per customer is at all-time highs, oh yeah, cost of borrow is also at 900%, but still, the upside potential might not be there, they say. But what about SVB? Where were the warnings then? Why were the retail investors that were investing into SVB? Because I'm sure there were some. Where were their warnings?